Uh, hello, dear friends. Uh, let me uh, introduce uh, my neighbor. His name is Ilya. Uh, now you can see him uh, next to me. And uh, we're living together in uh, uh, Anastasia village. Uh, and we're building our uh, space, love space. And uh, Ilya is the, it's the person, the, the man, his family find this beautiful place. And then my family already uh, come later to this place. And uh, I want to ask Ilya first, uh, uh, how you find this place and what uh, brought you to this place actually? Can you tell a little bit? Hello, everybody. Uh, it's nice for me to have a video with Amkara. And uh, I would like to answer his questions and uh, tell you about a little bit our settlement, about our products and uh, etc. So if we're uh, talking about how we find this place. Yeah, because uh, uh, I remember you were searching for a place where you want to live and build your uh, space. How actually you find this place, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, this place was found by Lida, my wife. Uh, she have found this place in something 2005, 2006, uh, these years. Uh, she is actually lived there uh, every summer near the village in Visim. And uh, she liked uh, the view, the mountains all around and uh, when uh, she understood about the idea of uh, Anastasia village, she started to search around the Visim, the areas uh, where uh, she can, uh, well, they can create such a settlement. And on the map, she found uh, some empty fields in the forest and she came here. And so, so from that uh, moment, she, uh, fell in love with this place actually uh, but um, for that time we with her we didn't know each other and we hadn't met uh, and uh, uh, she tried to uh, get this land but uh, it didn't happen and she started to think that she should first uh, she should find a man uh, with uh, oh, uh, his find husband, <laughs> yeah, find me actually. Uh, she uh, she was divorced for that time, and she was uh, with uh, uh, she was alone with a, a daughter, and she created uh, a vision, and she wrote a song where she says it like it should be. Uh, like uh, she sees it in a, <clears throat> how to say it, uh, most perfect way. So, she what about me? She make a dream and make a song out of this dream, right? Yes, yes. And the dream, it uh, took her to Altai. And we met at Altai. There was uh, such a, uh, no, it's like a festival. seminar, festival, yeah. Uh, for the uh, people who are searching for, um, uh, the for a husband, what? For a partner. For a partner. For a partner, yes. And I came also for this seminar, uh, for this festival, and she came. She came uh, with a purpose. She wanted to find uh, me. I came uh, not uh, not to find anybody. I just came because uh, they asked me to uh, make some uh, masterclass uh, for this seminar. Mm -hmm. So, and here we met and uh, she told me about her dream, about to have her own land, uh, build a house, uh, grow a big garden and uh, have animals there, horses and for me, it was uh, for the first time that I uh, ever heard about this dream. 
I didn't read uh, Anastasia books, Vladimir Megre books be before the time. So it was like a surprise for me and I liked this dream very much. And uh, I told her that I wanted to live the same. <laughs> so my, from, the, from that time we started to live together. And actually uh, I can say that uh, this dream, uh, it connected us. It make us uh, a family. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, n nice, oh. nice story. Uh, a nice uh, a way to to create a family. I think uh, that her dream has uh, been so strong that you uh, get into the dream. Yeah. And are you happy uh, in this place uh, as well? Uh, how you uh, like this place by yourself? Yes, of course. Uh, this place is um, very good for me. But uh, actually, before we started to uh, do uh, uh, our village here, we tried to find uh, places in uh, other regions of Russia. We traveled to Caucasus, we traveled to uh, also at Altai. We were searching for a settlement, for a place but um, it didn't uh, answer the feelings mm -hmm. uh, and that's why we came back here and uh, we started to to make it here <laughs> okay and uh, then later my parents came i remember and they say that was a great place they found and uh, nice people and then uh, already i came with uh, my wife and uh, we also take a piece of land, uh, a piece of land there. Uh, another question, Ilya. Uh, I know that uh, in uh, in many villages, Anastasia villages, uh, it's uh, for some people a challenge uh, to find the way of living. I mean, to to find a job or to find something what they can do for living. And can you uh, tell a little bit about your way how you work and what you do how you make money for living in such a place and how that also connects uh, with the ideas of uh, a healthy life and also ideas of anastasia that we have to be in harmony with the nature uh, can you tell a little bit about that uh, what you do for living so there are several ways of getting money for us uh, one of the most uh, not important but the biggest way right now it's our uh, uh, product fact small uh, family factory small family factory so we started in 2012 uh, by making uh, the even tea because uh, there are fields of even tea around us and uh, it, it was um, like a popular before no, at that time uh, it was uh, like new right now it's not like new it's still popular but uh, right now there are much more uh, factories that pr produces uh, even tea that's why it's much more difficult <laughs> to get money from even tea than before but we we started from even tea and uh, we collected it fermented pre what uh, i say okay. uh, now it's more difficult to get money than before like in the beginning it was uh, easier to the price yeah, because uh, there is no much more such factories to mm -hmm. produce it and we are was alone <laughs> it's okay and uh, also not uh, just even tea, also other grasses, herbs that grows uh, here. So we collected here, we fermented here, and we also dried here. So uh, everything uh, is uh, uh, preparing this place in eco place, and then we put it in the pockets and sell it to every. Ev every region of Russia or uh, all over the world. And are, then you, do, are you doing it now as well or not? Uh, or you do it only for yourself, uh, uh, herbs, uh, or you also do it for selling? Can people, uh, if they like to order some herbs, can they do it from you? 
Yes, yes, you can order even tea and herbs from us and we will make it. But so, uh, is, is it, do the people need to order it before and then you make it for them or you already have always some herbs for, for selling? Uh, right now we have some herbs, uh, herbs uh, from uh, last, year, last year, last season, but not so much. So, uh, for example, Ivanti right now is uh, empty, it's uh, finished. Mm -hmm. And it will be uh, after July. All right. Mm -hmm. And another and, thing. Mm -hmm. So, and then we started to grow, we started to produce uh, raw oils uh, that is made by the way like Anastasia described in the books. Uh, with a wooden press, so we um, make cedar oil, uh, hemp oil, brazil nut oil, sunflower oil, lime seed oil, and there are 11 types of oil that we made, uh, make right now. Uh, and actually for this video I prepared a table of how to choose a, uh, choose a raw, uh, raw oil, because uh, raw vegetable oil because sometimes it is uh, difficult for our uh, customers to decide which oil do, do they need and to, which oil is most fit for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, it will be uh, in the description of the video, so the link and uh, you can read it. Mm -hmm. So we started to produce oils, uh, so uh, this is live or oils like uh, you said uh, in, uh, in one of the videos yeah talking about live fruit and that uh, uh, also uh, you can say the oil is also live because it's made from live seeds yeah because they can uh, i'll say they can grow yeah they're still alive they're not cooked yeah and you're not uh, roasted them before uh, also, the uh, touching only wooden press and not touching metal, is it right? Uh, uh. Yes, uh, it is right and it is also was not heated. So that's why all the vitamins, all the minerals, all the uh, basic um, elements are still in this oil and uh, it is uh, like the most uh, <laughs> good for your health. Uh, also we make Jivitsa. Uh, Jivitsa it's um, uh, I forgot the word so I will see. It's a resin. Uh, resin. Resin. Uh, resin. 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 Yeah it's a sticky uh, thing from the <laughs> needle trees uh, we use for Jivitsa and mix it yeah. with oil. Yes we make this mixture and it is also very healthy to for outside using and also for internal using. Uh, it's uh, good for your blood, for your skin, and uh, also for a lot of other. Um, can we call it? Thing. Can we call it a natural antibiotic because it's uh, have a good yes. effect uh, if you take it inside that. Uh, uh, bacteria, uh, what is not uh, friendly to us, they are disappeared uh, from this medicine. Yes, yes. So, and uh, also we, uh, um, is, uh, three years ago, we started to um, not produce, but uh, uh, making a urbiech. 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 Can you explain? Uh, because urbiech is not uh, really. English world, <laughs> it's, uh, uh, it's a past like a, a crash uh, nuts, yeah, like a crash nuts in the like a yeah. very very thing, yeah, like, a, uh, like it a is a pasta yeah. that was uh, made from the nuts or seeds on the um, stone uh, meal. Mm -hmm. yeah, so uh, two stones, one is standing and another is moving and it uh, produces the pasta from mm -hmm. it. So, and nothing else, Noth nothing else, no uh, add. 
And you you make it yourself also, or it's another company make it, and you. Uh, right now we are buying it from another uh, factory, but uh, it's a plan to have our own production. Oh, that's nice. And uh, this year already you plan to do it, or you don't know yet? I don't know, so I don't uh, put the you limits. You don't put the, put the limits, okay. Yeah, but it would be great to have our okay. own, uh, what we call Ubrich. It's the name of this uh, crushed uh, seeds. And uh, it's also very tasty. Yeah, I remember uh, my guests when they are coming to our um, place, uh, they have uh, been very happy with this food uh, because it's really tasty. You can also add honey and mix it with honey and that make it like a great uh, uh, dessert. Yeah? Great uh, sweet things, but all natural, no sugar added, uh, only uh, live uh, natural food. Uh, yes, yeah, yes. And can you uh, demonstrate, do you have some uh, oil with you? how it look like uh, and uh, in which uh, doses people can take it uh, this is uh, this is small. a small bottle 100 milliliters mm -hmm. so okay this is it this, this is what i can read as a jivitsa it's a i say yes, the oil uh, and uh, re resin yes and uh, all the other oils uh, are in uh, also in Yes, this is for example uh, drops for the eyes. Mm -hmm. And uh, what they made from these drops? They are made from uh, cedar, cedar oil, and some drops are with uh, with the add of resin of jivitsa. Okay, like uh, one is a pure oil, and a second uh, type of the ice drops is uh, oil and. Uh, uh, a little bit of resin is added there as a yes a uh, it is uh, better to start with uh, just pure oil so your eye will be get used to it and then you can uh, put uh, the drops with the resin mm -hmm. it will clean and it will heal your eye and it will uh, have, give minerals for it uh so and uh, there are there is very good answers about uh, uh after the customers who used it these drops yeah. and what kind of uh, eyes problems it can heal these uh, drops uh take out this uh, cover how to say it mm -hmm. no, uh, for also cataracta, cataracta. And, uh, cataracta. Mm -hmm. And, <laughs> and it gives the vitamin E also directly to your eye, so your uh, view is uh, better, getting better. Ah, if there is some problem to see far away or to see close, yeah, it also can can be helpful. Yes, it helps. It helps. Okay, it means uh, if you combine it with some uh, training of eyes, like muscle training, and this medicine, uh, it should be a great effect. I think. Yes. Yes. Of course. Mm -hmm. And this is, for example, a uh, five, 500 milliliter bottle, mm -hmm. plastic. Five liter, yeah. Also Jivitsa right now. Mm -hmm. But uh, actually we are making another etiquette. So uh, what I show you, it is, uh, it is old etiquette, uh, uh, cover, cover. Oh, cover, yeah. Uh, like logo. You have a new logo oh, for, yeah. your, for your yeah. company. So it will be a new logo, so a new, um, okay. <laughs> yeah, new, new design. Uh, new design, yeah. So it will be a little bit different uh, from what I show you right now. And also we have uh, soap, soap that is ah, made okay. from our neighbor. It's also can be bought at our shop. Okay, and it salt is made. Also made in natural ingredients, yeah? Uh, it's, uh... Yes, and it, uh, it is uh, handmade with natural ingredients. Okay, uh, that's great. Can you uh, give a few words about the difference? For example, uh, a lot of oil 
also you can buy in the shop and it's making the big uh, factories. What's the difference between that your small uh, factory, what you make oil, and the big factories which is produce hmm, like really uh, a lot of oil? What is uh, the main difference? No, oh, in big in big factories, of course, they use metal press and uh, normally they heat it even it, if it is written that it's uh, uh, raw oil mm -hmm. uh, it um, it could be heated until uh, 60 degrees 66 degrees something like that so mm -hmm. it is allowed the law is allowed to heat it until 66 degrees and it will be written raw oil raw, but, cold, uh, cold press yeah awesome. cold pressed yeah cold pressed Mm -hmm. uh, but actually, no, that is not <laughs> quite uh, cold pressed. Mm -hmm. Cold pressed, uh, it means that you don't heat at all. So mm -hmm. you make it with a, a house temperature. And why, so, why they heat it, uh, Ilya? Uh, uh, why it, do they heat it? Uh, they to, heat, uh, to get more oil, because uh, when you heat, uh, it uh, extracts more oil. That's mm. why they heat it, of course. And if you do cold press, then less oil are coming out. Yeah, like it's uh, yes, less yes. Uh, effective for the material parts. Yeah, like you have less product, but more quality, yes. better quality then. Yeah, better quality, but uh, less amount. That's why my oils uh, could be more expensive. Uh, that and also big factories. Uh, you can imagine that there are huge press, and they put, for example, in one hour they can uh, uh, put uh, 100 kilo of uh, nuts, for example, mm -hmm. and in one hour it will be ready. So and uh, what I can do in one hour, it's uh, for example five kilos of nuts so uh, of course uh, it will uh, influence the price because at the same time it's a, a different amount mm -hmm. so uh, main uh, <clears throat> difference is it's metal it is uh, heated uh, no so th these are the main differences uh, between our factory and uh, that you can find in the shops mm -hmm. okay then um, i think some people who watch this video maybe they will be interested to order something from you uh, how they can can do that you already said that you mentioned that you send me a price uh, for uh, for the herbs and the oils right uh, uh, in a, well, in you a can uh, they can order from you. Yeah, they can, or some of the things is in my shop, but maybe you add to the shop also some herbs. Then people can order even tea and uh, other uh, herbs. Okay, you, we can do it. Mm -hmm. We can do it. Yes. Okay, then uh, in in uh, by watching this video uh, in the description you will see some links some links uh, to the shop where you can order something and uh, we also um, invite people to our village because especially in the summertime uh, we more alive more people coming and uh, if uh, you're interested you can always uh, welcome because it's a great uh, experience to exchange especially if you also like ideas of Anastasia uh, if you read the books and if you support these ideas and they resonate with you, uh, you can come and see how we uh, do our best to build a village. Um, it's uh, still a project which is on the beginning of the uh, growing. We already have many people who are interested, but it's take time for people to get to the land and uh, to build something to... Uh, get connection with the land and uh, to grow some something on the land and uh, maybe you uh, Ilya want to say something else at the end of our meeting uh, maybe some something else about uh, yeah place about our village or about your family how you 
uh, how, what is the future plans uh, for, for you and for us? Yes, yes uh, you are very welcome to come to us, to come to Ankara, this, uh, how, how, how you call it? Uh, I call it a healing center uh, for the healing people center. to come for healing, but it's not only for healing. Uh, it's also you can be like a guest and uh, just to come and exchange the, I'll say, exchange the ideas, exchange the vision. Mm -hmm. to, yeah. Uh, how so you can come and also uh, you will see how we live and also you can see our factory. You can uh, get the... Uh, how to say it, the purest oil, <laughs> which was made just a few minutes ago. <laughs> Fre freshest then. <laughs> freshest fresh, oil. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so try it and um, taste it. So uh, if we are talking about uh, our settlement, so there are 20 hundred hectares it is planned of the 20 hundred hectares right now uh, not uh, even a half are uh, mm, occupied uh, occupied taken yeah. by people yeah so, so, uh, more than half people. is free like uh, we're still waiting for more people to come to our village to uh, i'll say to be part of it part of this project huh? yes and uh, in the center there is a uh, a big field of 12 hectare where we um, where there are four gardens and uh, two uh, two four small forests uh, gardens like are center, center of the village like uh, uh, it's not belongs with someone but it's like a center like everyone can go to these fields and uh, forest like area in between yeah like for for everyone right. and uh, this year our apples uh, they uh, give uh, bl uh, this uh, blooming flowers yeah, because, yeah. Bloom. so maybe it will be even this year small <laughs> apples, oh, apples. Oh, maybe big <laughs> maybe big first time <laughs> yeah that's a it's a great uh, great uh, news yeah we start to have a, a apples uh, on the apple trees and uh, uh, yeah that, that's a good sign also for us also we have uh, some struggling uh, with the administration uh, of this uh, local government they uh, uh, start to go against of our project but now uh, in uh, our vision all turn in a positive way for us and uh, there's uh, opening the possibilities to how say to develop our project that's uh, also just happened not so far and uh, that's also a good good things and good news and i i i know that Ilya, you play very well a uh, guitar can uh, can we promise people if they visit us then they hear how you play and your beautiful wife how she's singing the songs yes so we will come to you and we will sing uh, together and uh, our just our songs russian songs and so <laughs> yes of course and can, can you tell a little uh, words about bard uh, songs which is also mentioned in the books of anastasia uh, what is how you understand this why the bard uh, songs is so important uh, uh, for the people for the world well uh, it is an important for us, for example, because uh, they uh, help us to uh, how to say it? Uh, tune to tune, tune yeah, tune. yeah, to tune on the uh, on the feelings of uh, so. No, what what you can say? Music, so just music. Uh, why we are hearing the music because uh, so we need it <laughs> life but, uh, and, yeah, and, but what's uh, the difference between bard, bard, bard songs and i don't know like uh, other uh, uh, types of the songs uh. the difference it's about the um, 
imagination about the picture that is uh, about the dreaming that is in these songs. If you, for example, uh, sing song about, oh, I'm so poor, my wife, she, you know, my love was broken, and so, 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 it's not you interesting a pop, for us. Pop songs, yeah? What? You mentioned a pop songs, yeah, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah there, there are a lot of songs. Meaning. Yeah, it's a, a bad meaning. So if you, if you, what you think that you have, if you want to have, uh, so this uh, deadness, so sing these songs. If you want to have to enjoy life, to live happy life, to live together, then you should then you uh, you should sing another songs, and uh, our songs are like that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for this interview, and uh, I have an idea in my mind that maybe in the future we make a, like a small video about process how you make uh, the oil maybe i come with a camera and record uh, a process of uh, making cold press uh, uh, healthy oil is it all right for you yes it is all right yes you can come when we will make a video and we will say this is for uh, Mr. Beggins, <laughs> well, it is pressed for Mr. Beggins, it will sell to Netherlands. <laughs> okay, uh, it's also possible, yeah, like people can order and we can just record how the oil is uh, pressed, yeah? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, uh, all right, uh, thank you, Ilya, for uh, for interview. And thank you uh, for this opportunity. Yeah. See you soon. Uh, please uh, uh, subscribe for the channel and uh, it will be many new videos uh, and uh, also with uh, Ilya and also with uh, our village because soon uh, I will be there and I will also record some, some videos about beautiful nature, lakes and the forest what we have around.